Hey, how's it going, everybody? I just remembered that I should start recording while banning because, again, the bans disappear on this patch. But I banned the standard gods. I think it might be kind of bugged that it's only giving us five bans as well instead of six, but oh well. Here we are with the Cthulhu skin. I'm, I just I just had to be quiet because when I selected it, I wanted to see what the intro animation was. Uh, ooh, look at that card art, man. Yeah, I uh, quite honestly. So the last two Odysseys, I wasn't going to buy, but then I would have a friend that was like, you know what? Let me let me donate some money so that you could get the Odyssey. I was like, thank you. So like for the tier five Ares, that's how I got it. For the tier five Baron, that's how I got that one as well. But for this one, I was like, nah, this one's too good to pass up. And I bought it the day it came out. Uh, I I actually haven't been buying many Smite skins lately. Like, I have a lot of Smite skins, but it's just because I'm a super long-time player. And I've really slowed down on buying gems. Like, a lot, a lot. I think this is the first time in a while of myself buying gems. But because there's a gem skin... Oh, it looks like she's starting blue buff. I could invade her, but actually, I'm down to get my own. Oh, wait. Is this not... Oh, yeah, it doesn't spawn right away. I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't bought any skins in like a while. And I don't know. I'm pretty uh pretty happy with uh pretty happy with this one. But with the gem sale, this skin is like to buy the entire Odyssey. Not just for this skin, but the entire Odyssey is only uh, 65 bucks. Which I mean it is a lot of money, but I'd say it's pretty worth it. I've always said this about Smite, you can criticize the game about a lot of things but the skins better than any other game i've played not a single other game has made me want to buy cosmetics because i usually don't care about cosmetics uh but this game man yep it got me I've, I've spent a lot of money on smite cosmetics that's for sure whoops man this skin's so weird it doesn't feel like i'm playing cthulhu Oh, wow, it has, like, a stun animation, too. That's hilarious. I actually get my one off on her right now. The other day, for the first time, I got a Cthulhu passive to max in a dual game. I was against a Jean Quay. I was dabbing it as much as I could, and I, I got it. It's kind of funny. This game does get a little rough into the late game because Cthulhu can't kill Argus very well. However, I can just ult and kind of turn around and be like no you and try killing Hera and Argus shouldn't smack me too much uh oh in fact maybe I'll even do it now oh wait I don't have mana I forgot that we have to use mana for our ultimate well who cares I just wanted to see the ult anyways <laughs> I just wanted to see the ult this also has a special emote you can turn into a into a car. Let's go. And now I'm cool, Cthulhu. Yeah, just everything about this skin. Amazing. I've, I've actually been saying it for a long time. But I've been saying we need a goofy tier 5 skin. Because all the tier 5 skins are so serious. And so, like, you know, I don't want to say full of themselves. But, yeah, full of themselves. I just wanted a tier 5 skin that's goofy because there's so much potential in what you can do with it. And this skin really shows that, quite honestly. I love it. So I guess when I use my 1, I become the cowboy, or I don't know how it works. I don't know how transformation works. When I use this, I become the cool guy, because obviously the car, right? Or does it just rotate? Oh, that's jumping. <laughs> that's cool. Dude, imagine... Imagine... I think that might be a huge skin advantage. I'm just saying, if you're against a hunter and you're juking away, do this, and then just start jumping. <laughs> yeah, try and hit me. <laughs> try and hit me. Backing up. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The double sunder is kind of scary. Kind of scary. I'm bigger than Argus. Get out of here. 
Get out of here, Argus. I'm out so soon. Oh, man. Man, I want to ult, but if she's too far back, it's not really worth now, is it? There we go. I do that sometimes. It works quite often. And I don't know if that's a common strategy. But, like, if I'm trying to get my opponent to be, like, kind of close to me, what I'll do is I'll turn around and, like, kind of walk away, but not fully. Like, I'll kind of strafe side to side by time. And I'll just immediately turn around and real and they're, like, a lot closer because they, they thought they were safer. The distance they think is safe is just not quite safe when I do that. And it happens quite often. I do it a lot on Ymir, too. But it's, like, really hard to explain what I'm doing. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to go Genji's, actually. We, I don't think we need Pestilence. Genji's for the cooldown. Sounds good to me. So, yeah. So, the plane turns him into the, the, the pilot. The car turns him into the cool guy. The one turns him into the cowboy. What does the two turn him into? I didn't even realize that when they... <clears throat> excuse me. When they announced the skin, I didn't realize the ability to determine which one he turns into. And the two turns him into the regular one. All right. That's so cool. That's awesome. Do I have the voice pack? Oh, it's bugged. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I bought the entire Odyssey, but you know, it's all good. I don't need the voice pack. Oh, we're so dead. Ow. That's okay. I need to drink some more water. We need a plan for late game. So I think late late game, the plan is just to have cooldown and just bop her with that. Um, and then whenever she ults, I just have to ult. I think that's the only plan I can have, right? Assuming she took this, she did indeed. We need to be paying attention to buffs as well. Is there anything else big with this skin that I'm missing? I guess I could use a few jokes and stuff. This isn't really a skin review, but I mean, isn't it though? <laughs> uh, really hard to hear it, actually. Yeah, and I guess each version has their, like, own personality and skin and taunts and stuff. Yeah, yeah, each one has its own personality, voice pack, and voice lines and stuff. Just voice, it's just everything. That's so cool. I don't think any of the other tier 5s go quite that far. Because this skin, uh, this skin's constantly changing between all of them, you know? I wonder if we'll ever get a tier a tier six skin. What would that look like? That's the question. Holy moly. Argus is destroying me, dude. Remember when I said Argus won't be able to do much damage in my ult? Okay, I'm using my three-way. I had to dodge to the side because of her ability. Oh my goodness. I almost want to stay just because I have Bancrofts. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, she baited me. No. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh my goodness, dude. That was a good bait. I thought she was going over to red buff and then she turned around. Because if I get my root off, I can kill her quite easily. Oh, I missed. There's no way you can get Argus yet. There's no way. I genuinely can't believe you would get an Argus soon. Well, soon, yes. But now, no. She's warded. I'm out. Bye-bye.
my tentacles look big. All right, I do think we need a divine rune though, and a blink as well, or something. Um. All right, new plan. We gotta deal with the Argus, and killing Argus as a guardian is it's tough. Um. I mean, if we go Bancroft's, if we go Typhon's Fang, and we just go a ton of healing, then we can just out like heal the Argus. Or I could throw in a Polynomicon. And with a, because late game with, we're going to have upgrade that pair to Shroud or whatever. The one that heals percent health. So if I go Polynomicon, we would have the healing, but I'd also be able to slap the Argus. I think that's a good idea. Oh. Hey, how about you leave Argus out of this? All right, good stuff. We're healing. We're healing. Okay, Argus still isn't dead yet. <laughs> I thought Argus died to tower. Yeah, I tried going back into tower and then coming back out to deal damage to the Hera. But uh, Argus didn't die yet. That's okay. A big problem is Hera's shield as well. That's kind of tough to deal with. Asunder would have been nice, but I, I think the... The blink and beads are still good. Because the beads are necessary for late game in this matchup. Even if I'm not using it much now, later on, the polymorph is just such strong crowd control that if I can't get out of it, uh, she can turn a fight super easily. Or get away, which could be even worse. Okay. Usually I can beat Hera as your mirror, something with auto attack damage, because you can kill Ar Argus like super fast. But auto attack Cthulhu is kind of spooky. It can work, but kind of spooky. Man, she canceled my ability. We're going to need to get some wards to make sure she doesn't take Demon King. Pretty soon, actually. Pretty sure she's behind this wall. Yep. Wow, we're not even doing damage to her because it's just all going into the shield. And she's got max cooldown pretty much already. Okay. Use my beads so I can use my two. Okay, get our Divine Ruin. That'll help with, like, at least when we damage her, it should... She won't be able to heal from it so easily. Um, yeah, and then I'm... I don't know. We just gotta, we gotta think. We gotta think. Lots of options to go. Pawn up count still a good idea, I think. She just sundered me. I kind of want to use my, my one again, but oh well. Wow, I'm dead. Look at that shield she got. Holy moly. That shield is insane. All right. Um. Hmm. Polynomicon can't do much. I need Typhons. I need Typhons for the immense amount of power and sustain. She has no anti -oil. And if she goes... Quite frankly, if she goes a Divine Ruin, it won't be enough. Really don't want her to take this Phoenix. If she takes this Phoenix, it's over. I'm just going to get uh, this as well. Because I'm going to have to ward so much that this thing will pay for itself pretty soon. I usually don't get it because I can't afford it, but I can right now.
They're usually putting a ward in like your area of the jungle as well as on Demon Kings. Pretty good. Uh, obviously, if she gets a sentry ward, we can move where our wards are. Looks like she is getting a divine rune, but I think it's okay. Bancroft's Typhons will still heal me way too much anyways. Is she actually going for it? Yeah, she is. Okay. <laughs> Alright, back up. I mean, she used her Argus. Back up, right? Oh my goodness, this damage. How is Argus not dead yet? <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. I don't know. I'm just trying to stay in this match right now. I don't really have an answer for a lot of her stuff. Again, I'm just trying to get my, my build online and hope it'll do something later on. Not to mention she can cancel that ability every single time, which is super unfortunate. Oh, uh, there's Argus again. Yeah, if I had Typhons, then we could be slapping this. I think Typhons into Kronos Pennant. We need the, the cooldown. I'm out ult pretty soon, which is good. I want to outweigh her shield. Yeah, she used double shield there. We want to outweigh it. Use that. There we go. That's good. Didn't want to use too many of our abilities when she's pretty much invincible. A Sunder would have been so good against the shell and shield that she has. But, oh well. I think the relics we got are still pretty good. The blink's not working out as much as I had hoped. That's all right. All right, let's try and take this, or at least do as much damage as possible. All right, we can't actually take it right now, but that's okay. Let's back Typhons into Chrono's Bennett. We're skipping the Polynomicon. I don't think it was going to help us as much as I had needed it to. I think the cooldown is more important. Just having our abilities up with the uh, double life still. Again, she would kind of need a Toxic Plate or a Pestilence to out-heal us, or to deal with our healing with this build. You really going to stop me from taking this? Unfortunate. Oh, I shouldn't have dashed in. Whoops. Oh god, we're so dead, man. No, unless she's dead. Man, look how far, how much distance she got. That's okay. She's out, man. Actually, I was going to go towards Demon King because she had to recall, right? But no use in going towards re uh, Demon King if her tower's still up. Just might as well take it straight up. Okay. Wow, you recall fast and get back. Super fast as well. Okay, that's her her shield. Okay, her shield's pretty much over. Go back in. Maybe could have killed there with the alt, but I want to wait a little bit. Try and see if I can get her shield again. Do a 
little bit of damage here. Okay, this this matchup's getting a little bit better. That's her shield. That's her double shield. So might as well just try to focus both Argus and her. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, she needs a pestilence to deal with my amount the amount of healing I have, especially when I upgrade my item. We're just gonna stay here. We should be able to take Phoenix. This is so good. What a close matchup. That Soul Reaver is a good item, though. It's a good item, but I don't think she has enough pen, like, to back it up. That's the thing. Ever since they nerfed Soul, Soul Reaver to not have penetration, it feels like even if you get it against someone with so much health, because Cthulhu has a huge health pool, uh, it's not going to do much unless you have a huge amount of pen. Like, I honestly think uh, just having... <laughs> I mean, it's kind of dumb to say, but... A toxic blade on, on Hera works with their passive for getting Argus back faster and stuff like that. But, I mean, my entire build is around healing at this point. I have one, two, three healing items. And this one's going to be huge late game. And, uh, yeah, I, I think she needs something more for that. Anything, whether Pestilence, Toxic Blade, just something more than Divine. Because Divine's not going to anti-heal me enough. Oh, let's actually upgrade this. There we go. This is... We're just in a really good spot now. This is so good. I was a little worried, but now we're good. We're obviously not out of the woods yet because Argus still is kind of hard to kill, but we're in a lot better of a situation. I'd feel a lot better if we had Chrome's Pennant. Once we get Chrome's Pennant, I'll, I'll, feel, I'll feel good about our everything we have. I can also sell Bancroft's Tripoli at this point because now we're actually pretty much over the lifestyle cap. Just by, like, when we get a little low health. So uh, instead of doing that, we just get Polly. Uh, we won't be incredibly powerful at low health anymore, but um, we'll give us that Polynomicon, which could help if we don't have our, uh, our ultimate up. Oh, I didn't kill this one minion. There we go. I love this skin. Just really, like, just just props to the art team. Props to everyone. Um, and then also, uh, they timed it with the gem sale. I think I don't know if they do that every year, but it's just it's just good overall. Super worth it. I highly recommend. Okay, so. She still doesn't have her last item, which is good for me. And she missed her Sunder, which is even better for me. Oh, my one didn't go off. What? What? We got to back up. My one didn't go off, which would have taunted her or whatever. Cancel my alt just so I can kill Argus. Slash Rudin. Oh, never mind. Ah, she, she was a lot closer than I thought she was. The two super long range. My my idea there was just to cancel lifesteal slash kill Argus and then just recall. I mean, uh, and then just try again next time. But oh, well, we do get our, our power potion now, which does put us at like maximum cooldown because 10% Genji's, 20% Chronos Pennant, 10% this. And uh, now we can start saving for Polly slash, uh, you know, upgrading our relics. Ah, she is going to get this, unfortunately. Well, I do have Blink. So, let's see. She gets this, but can I kill her is the question. Or does she not get this? Nope, guess not. I, I underestimate how much damage her auto attacks do. Because usually when I'm playing Hera, it does not take that many autos to kill Phoenix. All right, we get red buff here, by the way. Okay. Yeah, when we ult, the one doesn't count as ability, so it doesn't heal us with Sacrificial Shroud, but it does heal us with Lifesteal. 
Or not sacrificial, uh, blood soaked. Need to get this Phoenix one way or another. Not sure how. Baiting out her ult also works because now Argus is going to be down for a super long time. Uh, it's actually going to be down until she kills Argus. So we can kind of play around that. If anything, I could go for a Demon King and force her to come over there and knowing that she her Argus is still down. And if she comes over here, I can kill her with my ult. Because she'll be super out of position. She has no choice here. I mean, she could come and try. And then I might mess up. But, uh... I mean, look how little damage we do, though. She might still even be able to steal it. That would be most unfortunate. If she steals it and I can't kill her. Or if she just goes straight for my Phoenix, which she is. Uh, this is one reason I don't like Demon King. Because it takes so long to kill. There we go. If she went straight for my Phoenix, she would have gotten it, by the way. And her Argus is still down for a while. That's her shell. Getting her Phoenix is down, so we don't gotta worry. Oh, I missed. That's okay, she's pretty much dead. Oh, my one wouldn't go off! She got Argus, man. She got it faster than I was hoping. This Argus didn't despawn until a while. Like, a while into this, you know? Like, when she finally came over to Demon King. Ah. Is that game? That might be game. Man, that one miss two costed me the game. Either way, it was super close. Let's see, 15 seconds. I'm pretty sure with max cooldown Hera, she can kill. Either way, it was a close game, and I mainly just was having fun with the skin. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She's actually killing it super slow. Like, super, super slow. It's not over. It's not over. <gasps> go, go, go! Oh my goodness. I thought she could end. And she thought she could end too. Go, go, go! I have red buffs up, but honestly... I don't know. I need to take this Phoenix. And with backdoor protections, I don't think I can. Quite frankly. Let's see. All right, we do not stay, though. Wait, as it not dead yet? There we go. We do not stay. We do not risk this. I could go for a red buff, but I'm, she's gunning straight for me, and quite honestly, I don't want to do that. She also has 3k pot, which is terrifying. We're in a position where if she just all-ins my titan with 3k pot, she might end. Ah, uh, what do we... Okay, okay. I need heal. I need heal, first of all. Okay, heal. And we need to try to fight her before she gets to my titan oh here she is unless she just goes straight for it no i cancel my ult no she went straight for it uh i should have tried to fight her somewhere over here and maybe not gone back but i i felt like the best chance we had was to go back to base Mistakes were made, but what a good game either way. I'm happy with it. It's all okay. It's a really, really difficult matchup. Like, if I was playing Hera against a Cthulhu, I don't think it would be that close. So, I feel like I played it fine. It's a good game overall. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.